What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at Whitestone Dome's brand new UV Gen film for the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now this goes on just like any other film protector, but it hardens and cures with a UV light. Unlike any other film that you're going to get, it kind of stays flimsy and you can kind of peel it off really well. Well, this one here stays on just like glass. Make sure you stick around till the end of the video so you can see whether or not this screen protector is worth your time. So here's what we get inside the box. You get your installation guide, you get your little installation packet, two screen protectors, and a UV light which you can plug into a cell phone adapter or if you happen to have a power bank like I do here, you can use one of those. We also get a squeegee, our little installation guide, and a little stopper for the phone. So the very first thing you want to do is to remove the screen protector that was originally on the phone or any other screen protectors that might be on the phone right now. Next, we're going to go ahead and take that little foam stopper that I showed you before and we're going to put it right above where we have our phone. Next, you want to take the little installation guide and we're going to insert it into the bottom of our phone, making sure that you use the little C-shaped guide, not the other side here. So just press that into the bottom of our phone, just like that. Next, we're going to clean off our screen with the alcohol wipe. Then we're going to take our drying cloth and we'll just dry that off. Then we'll take one of our dust stickers. Make sure we remove any dust that's on the screen. Next up, we're going to go ahead and open our screen protector bag. We'll pull, pull out our screen protector. You're going to go ahead and remove this little sticker here. We're going to flip that over, making sure we put the little holes here lined up with our guide. We'll pull the tab on the top taut, making sure that this lines up perfectly with our camera on our phone. Try to get any bubbles out. It's not really imperative because we're going to peel off the bottom anyway. So now we're going to take our squeegee, we're going to put it in the middle here. We're going to peel this up. Fold it over and make sure that the screen protector goes on the screen like that. And as you can see, the blue piece is peeling out. We'll just push that down. Make sure you try to do it in one nice motion so you don't get any bubbles. Then we're going to go ahead and take this off the back here. Then we're going to place our squeegee in the middle again. We're going to peel this side up. Make sure the blue side goes over your screen and then just push forward. Just like that. All right, very nice. So now we can take out the little guide at the bottom here and we'll kind of squeegee out any bubbles that we might see if we do see any. I don't see any bubbles. That was a pretty good installation. All right, now we're going to go ahead and use one of our stickers to try to peel off the top layer of the screen protector. Be very careful because you don't want to pull up the whole screen protector, just the protective layer that's on top of the screen protector. So we'll use one of our dust stickers in the corner there and you can kind of just peel this back. And I do see the top layer coming off as you can see. Just again be very careful not to lift the screen protector underneath. Very nice. Now we're going to go ahead and push down on the edges here, just like that. We'll continue around the whole phone. And then what I recommend is taking your wipe again and just wiping down the edges, pressing with a little bit of force so we can just make sure that those are down nice. Now here's where you're going to want to get your battery backup or your phone charging adapter so we can plug in the UV light and we're going to do 60 seconds on the top, middle and bottom. So we're just going to push in this little button here twice for 60 seconds. It'll automatically turn off by itself. Then move it to the middle. And then move it to the top. All right, now that that's done, we'll go ahead and take a look at the installation. Pick up our little guide here. All right, looks really nice. 
I don't see any edges peeling up. It looks just like the glass does, very smooth. Go ahead and turn the phone on. There are absolutely no bubbles. That installation was completely flawless. Very easy to do. Anybody can do it without any issues. As you can see the edges there, there's no peeling up. It pretty much comes all the way to the phone's edge. Just leaves a little bit for maybe a case. We'll go ahead and test that out with a case to make sure uh, it's case friendly. So now I'm going to go ahead and test out the fingerprint sensor. We'll see if this is working. Now I did not redo my fingerprints. These are already in the phone. I just kind of want to see if it still works the way it is. And it does. Yep, fingerprint sensor is working perfectly. Now if the fingerprint sensor isn't working after you install the screen protector, I would definitely recommend that you go ahead and re-input your fingerprints because sometimes the screen protectors cause like little imperfections that might mess with your fingerprint sensor. So anyway, I would just go ahead and re-input your fingerprints so you don't run into any issues. But it's definitely working perfectly fine, no issues there. It touch working beautifully there is a slight resistance to it but it's nice and smooth we'll go ahead and test out our s pen s pen working perfectly fine like i said before there is a little resistance but that's really nice because it helps you precisely draw if you really need to and the pen just kind of not just like sliding all around so as you can see the s pen's working fine now Let's go ahead and look at the screen to see if the S Pen made any marks on the screen when I was drawing on it. And I don't see any whatsoever. Screen is still looking flawless. Very nice. Now, I don't know if you can notice, but there is a slight line in the middle of the screen. I'll see if I can kind of show it to you. So there it is kind of right there you can see. It's really not a deal breaker. That's because they separated the uh, top and bottom on the screen protector from when we were folding it. You really can't see it. It's like a hairline line on the screen. I really don't have any problems with it. And when the screen's on, you're not going to see it at all. It's crystal clear. The screen looks just as it did when I didn't have a screen protector on it. So that is great. There's our drawing again. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this into my Spigen Cryo case that I have, and we'll see how well that fits. So that looks perfect. It looks like the screen protector comes right up to the edge of the case and at the bottom, and I don't see any peeling either. The, the edges aren't lifting. So I definitely say that that is a win for this screen protector. So pretty much any case that you're going to use, it should be good. Of course, there are going to be some cases out there that it might not work with, but you're just going to have to try out your case to see if it works. But it definitely works with the Spigen Cryo case, and it looks so amazing. Fingerprints do show on the screen slightly, but that's not a huge deal. You could just simply wipe them off very easily without hardly any effort. You also don't have to worry about the camera being obstructed because it does have a little cutout for the camera right there. So no problems with your selfies. So for those of you that are kind of scared to take on the liquid adhesive, this is going to be the second best option for you. It's definitely going to protect your screen and it's super easy to install. Anybody can do it. So I definitely recommend this screen protector if you're looking for some pretty good protection without all the hassle. And again, I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.